Hello and welcome to the broadcast. Nothing Beast here with you on another Monday afternoon, evening. Yes, evening. Six o'clock. That's, that's evening hours. Hope you're all having a great day. Hope you had a great weekend, whether you celebrate the holiday or not. It was Easter. I don't celebrate personally, but I like any holiday that comes with candy. Lots of chocolate, lots of chocolate bunnies. Um, actually, there's something really cute that happens here in Australia. They have chocolate bilbies. I don't know what the fuck a bilby is, but they're adorable, and they make them in a little chocolate form. They're kind of, I don't know, I think they're a marsupial. Uh, they got these uh, cute little uh, noses, and they got these long snouts and everything. Google bilby, B-I-L-B-Y, and uh, they, they, they make chocolate bilbies here. So so instead of Easter bunnies, I mean, we still have Easter bunnies here, but they, may, they also have Easter bilbies, which, uh, it's just adorable. Um, but, uh, yeah, I... Um, I usually uh, eat my weight in jelly beans, but that's actually kind of funny because today's game is all about jelly beans. Uh, you know, Easter jelly beans are kind of egg-shaped, so there's a bit of a theme here. I didn't plan that, but it just popped into my head and I realized, oh, hey, let's go with it. So, uh, what did I do today? Today, uh, I actually did some scripting for uh, future episodes for my show, uh, Sugar Pants Video Basement. And since I'm talking about the promotion, we'll go ahead and pop up the uh, picture right there with uh, Sugar Pants the Clown uh, and all the videos that he has. I did some scripting today, and uh, I actually felt pretty bad because I've been neglecting doing scripting. I, I have four seasons of episodes for the year 2023 and I have three seasons completely done and a couple of episodes of the last season for that so I'm almost done with the entire scripting of the entire year and I have literally just done no work for a couple of weeks maybe even more than that I don't even remember but uh, I was putting it off putting it off putting it off because it was a movie that was coming up that I was working on that was I was dreading working on it because it's just, it's just bad, but it's not terrible, you know? But then I keep thinking, no one forced me to cover crappy movies. I decided to do that myself, so, <laughs> so I'm very proud of myself. I got the script done. Uh, at, at the very least, it's the first draft. Doing the first draft, and then what I do is, what I'm going to do is when I'm done with all of the episodes, I'm going to start back at the beginning and just kind of punch up all the scripts and everything, and, and that's kind of the process that I'm going to try to go for. But the fact is, I've almost got all of my episodes, at least the first draft done, for the entirety of next year. This year's episodes are all done and just waiting to be uploaded. Speaking of, it is Monday, and that means a brand new episode, and it is... Dun, da, da, da. It didn't go. There we go. Blood Salvage. This is a great movie. Uh, it's a lot of fun, although I will say that it's not exactly what I wanted from the movie. When it was done, there was a couple of things. I had some critiques. If you want to see what I'm talking about, check out the video. You can find the link down below in my About page. Sugar Pants Video Basement. Just go to YouTube. You can type in Sugar Pants Video Basement and it should come up. As far as I know, there is no other channel entitled Sugar Pants Video Basement. But that is what the title card looks like. If you go searching on YouTube for Sugar Pants Video Basement and you see this creepy-ass clown staring back at you talking about all sorts of movies, you are there. I have an entire season of episodes. Season one is in its entirety. I am in currently season two, and this is the third episode, and uh, it's, it's a fun one. It's a very interesting one. The premise is this group of rednecks hijack people from the highway and get them into their illegal uh, organ trade uh, business. So, yeah, <laughs> they kidnap people and then take out their organs and donate them to the black market. <laughs> it's, it's actually kind of a horror comedy. I wish it was more... I, no, my hands are not there. I, it's, it's kind of a horror comedy. I wish it was a little more horror than comedy because there's a couple of times where the jokes, I feel, are kind of taking away from the, from the scariness that it could have been. And I feel like it could have been a much bigger cult classic if they had just pushed the, 
the uh, the horror in certain elements a little bit more. But anyway, that's the latest episode. Literally just launched today, so be sure to check that out uh, if you haven't already. Blood Salvage on Sugar Pants Video Basement. So go away. There we go. Sometimes my uh, laptop doesn't want to listen to me as I'm talking to it. So, alrighty, well let's get to the broadcast going on right now. And today we are going to play A Boy and His Blob. And a little bit of uh, background for this. Uh, this is the remake of the uh, NES Classic. Well, I, I think it's a classic. It was a game I played when I was a child. And uh, I even got the little, there we go, little sprite over there of the original game which is adorable. Uh, it, was, it was a game that I played a lot, but I never actually finished. And um, this is the remake. I've never played this before. I had it on my wish list for the longest time. Hello, Garfield Chan. Good to have you along with me as we're getting started. Uh, it was a game that was on my wish list for the longest time, and I just, I never got it, I never got it, I never got it. And then uh, here recently it went on a sale, and I was like, well, if I don't get it now, I'm never going to. So I bought it. So we're going to jump into this, and this is a brand new uh, run for me. I have never played this game. So we're just going to jump in, and we're going to see how it goes. I'm assuming it's very similar to... Uh, the uh, original where, you know, a blob crash lands to Earth and you feed him jelly beans to make him transform into useful devices. Ooh, we starting with a cutscene. It's a jelly bean shaped planet. Wow, that's kind of a destructive crash to Earth. Oh, he's a sad little blob. I have to help make him happy. I want to be the very best, like no one's ever been. <laughs> de I'm definitely getting a, 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 a Pokemon vibe from this. I will travel across the land, <laughs> searching far and wide. <laughs> Use Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. Pokemon! <laughs> Across the map! <laughs> you teach me and I'll teach you Pokemon! It's almost mashing up too well. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is basically Pokemon if all you got was a ditto. <laughs> Oh boy. Get your backpack. We gotta go adventuring. Okay, we got a itty bitty little jump. Whoops. Can we jump to our doom? Oh, 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 hidden walls. <laughs> Invisible walls, they won't let me commit suicide. That's dark. Let's not go dark. This is a cute game. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens. I'll listen to the crunchies. Oh, this is adorable. Can I not open the treasure chest? I guess not. Boy, his jump is gonna take. <laughs> oh, it's not too bad. Uh, not bad. Uh, not too bad, Garfield Cham. Got a little bit of uh, work done on my uh, show for next year. A little bit of scripting. Boy, it was a bad movie too. It was it was rough, but I got another script done. All right. Oh dear, that that could have been bad. This is weird. Huh. 
Am I going the right way? Squish. Oh no, now I can't, I can't jump all the way up. The way the music just halts is is uh, a little jarring, but uh, I'm sure I'll get used to it. Ah! ah no! Run away! Come on! Oh, it's like E.T. He's just as scared of me as I am of him. That's so cute. Oh, that's adorable. Blob. Blob. <laughs> Oh, he's got to eat the treasure for me to get it. Okay. This way. <laughs> That's adorable. Whoa. Can you get that one? No, oh, 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 he's running away. <laughs> Oh, maybe I gotta take him back home. Mom, you'll never guess what I found. This is this is a, this is a lot cuter than I thought it was gonna be. What? 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 <laughs> Licorice ladder, I remember. <laughs> so what am I looking at? Is yeah. that an alligator? <laughs> this is this is definitely starting to get weird. Oh, okay, we're done. Game over. <laughs> Exciting times. Oh, that was cute. The blob was my pillow. Very weird. I'm guessing that uh, all the treasure will eventually make that into... Yeah, well, yeah where are my parents? Is this some post-apocalyptic thing? <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Oh, it's procedural. Okay. Or or rather it's it's levels and and it'll tell me how much treasure there is. Okay, let's find the other treasure. <laughs> Maybe his parents died. <laughs> maybe maybe it's going to be like a um Blob. Maybe it's going to be one of those um, uh, Studio Ghibli movies where, you know, the parents are not involved. And it's not really sad, but it's kind of sad. Yeah, it's going to maybe be one of those things. 
Oh, oh, there he got the treasure. There we go. I forgot where it was at. That's a big full moon. Another piece of the alligator. <clears throat> That's exactly what it was. <laughs> so okay, so the three pieces of treasure were. The three pieces of treasure were the alligator. Okay, so we're done with this one. Let's move on to the next level. This is a little different than what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was uh, going to be, uh, you know, like open world, like the original. Oh. Wow. So do I just have infinite? Infinite jelly beans? Oh, select bean. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ooh, a balloon. A ladder. There we go. expecting that to happen. I, uh, I accidentally just threw, uh, hit the wrong button is what actually happened there. Yeah. Oh. 
<laughs> this is like this is like diabetes inducing sweet. <laughs> I don't think I got all three. Did I get all three? One, two. Oh no, I got it. I got it. I thought maybe I missed one. What we get? What we get? Did we get another alligator, or did we get something cool, like a chair or something? Um, <laughs> uh, this game's gonna get weird. It's gonna get very weird if this is how it starts off. All right, next level. Oh, thank you. I did it myself. I, uh, I was getting a little tired of the long hair, but I didn't want to, I couldn't decide what type to, uh, of haircut to get, so I was like, let's just start all over from nothing. Okay, that looks like a deadly spike trap. Oh, we got tr uh, the tangerine trampoline. Wow. Cool. Okay, so that's that's the thing that makes this one interesting. It's uh, you get the tools to begin with and infinite jelly beans. Whereas in the original game, you had a limited number of jelly beans, so you had to use them very wisely. But I'm, I'm, I am missing the, the, the puns, because it was the tangerine that would make the trampoline. Um, then the punch would be the hole. For the longest time, I never understood what ketchup did. There was a ketchup jelly bean. Whoops. Look. Over here! There we go. Uh, the ketchup jelly bean was always one that I never understood what it did. Oh, I know what we need to do. Over here. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I would always throw down the ketchup jelly bean. He wouldn't eat it. Oh, oh. Oh, I waited too long. Uh, but the, uh, in the original game, he wouldn't eat the jelly. He, ooh, <laughs> that's kind of messy. Um, but he wouldn't eat the ketchup jelly bean. Mom, come here. Oh, yeah. Gotta go. Uh, and then I eventually found out what, what the deal was. This way. You, uh, the jelly bean, uh, the ketchup jelly bean was literally if he fell off of a, if he fell off of a cliff and he, you couldn't get to him, if you threw down a ketchup jelly bean, he would just pop up right there. This way! I keep hitting the wrong buttons. This is a weird button. Hey! Weird button combination. Uh... Oh, there we go. Oh, that's adorable. Hey! Go. Oh. That's too cute. It's just too damn cute. Alright, uh, let's try the... Can I, like, grab a hold of the balloon and float down? No. Oh, <laughs> a little leap of faith right there. <laughs> Over here! Right, how are we doing? Oh, we only have one treasure so far. damn cute. Alright. Okay, that was that was the first one. I was afraid that maybe I missed it. Oh. 
can change the throwing arc. Okay. Did he get it? Over here. There we go. Gotta go. <laughs> Whoops. Huh? Oh, fall damage. I thought he was the <laughs> right there with the uh, trampoline, but he went a little too far over. The end jelly bean. Okay. Alright. Now I got it. Now I got it. Hurry! Uh, did he fall down? Oh, there he is. See if I can do this without dying. Oh, oh ho, 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 ho. <laughs> over here. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. Careful there. Come here, you. <laughs> Splat. Goddamn cute. I think this game's too cute for me. Like, I don't even want to talk. I just want to experience. It's just, it's so, it's so charming and heartwarming and... What? 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 
what I get this time. A propeller. Did I see a garbage can up there? <laughs> oh, oh no, do not reset game progress. <laughs> I think the blob is just happy that uh, I'm being his friend. And if that's not if that's not what he's doing, I'm going to pretend so. The blob is just happy to be with me. Hitting the high road for adventure. All right, what do we got here? We have ooh a parachute. I wonder what flavor. I wonder what flavor jelly bean that is. All right, so we got the balloon, ladder, and parachute. All right, so now we know how to do, how to avoid fall damage. Oh, I put him in my backpack. That's adorable. Oh, oh, thank goodness. I don't know if I did that or if it did it itself. Oh, okay, I do have to activate it. <laughs> That's so cute, he jumps into my backpack. Uh, did we miss it? Is that is that all? It, like, do we not get another chance? Oh, there! Oh, okay, so I can't... Okay, I can jump. Okay. There we go. Splort. Uh, I guess, uh, yeah, we'll just do the parachute. Maybe it's pineapple. Pineapple parachute. Right, now we'll do the ladder. Turn. I don't think we're getting back up there. Oh! We missed two yeah. treasures. Okay, we're gonna have to do this level again. Yeah, it seemed like a very small window uh, when I parachuted into that one where I missed that uh, the tunnel where the second treasure was. But uh, I'm just a completionist enough to uh, want to go back. Yeah. All right, let's see what happens. What it looks like when we get just a partial treasure. Looks like it might be a rocket. Oh, that's cute. On the map, yeah, I'm pixelated. Oh! 
Oh, okay, okay, you can do it multiple times. <laughs> you just have to wait, for, you have to give it time to reset. Okay, I don't have to get the first one. No. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. <laughs> That's a shattered leg. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oops. Wow. Over here. Wow, they got you gotta go through the whole cycle. kind of getting a feel for it. Right into the spike traps. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Hurry! He kind of sounds like a Charlie Brown character yeah. once in a while. Here's all this way. <laughs> Let's see what the treasure actually was. Looks like it might be a rocket. What? 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 It's a rocket ship. Ground control to Major Tom. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Okay, we got trampoline, uh, balloon, and hole. Oh, look at that. I am such a light boy. <laughs> I can float on the breeze. Did the blob just get embarrassed because he missed his jump? Hurry! <laughs> oh, we got some, we got uh, some uh, beasties. If I can climb through the ladder, through these, can I trampoline up? Yes, I can. Up, oh, but there's treasure over there. Gotta go. Gotta go. Nope. Oh no, I can't swim!
Can he get up here? Did my jelly bean carry on the wind? Well, maybe he can still get it. Let's see. There! Okay, he got it. <laughs> this way! Oh. That's the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. that one. <laughs> oh. This way. This way. Oh, did I lose him? Definitely a dangerous adventure. I love the little crickets. That's that's very cute. This game is ridiculously adorable. All right, what do we get? What do we get? Let it be a moose head with giant antlers covered in socks. Why not? It makes as much sense as anything else I've gotten. Okay, tiki masks. We have got the sparkle up here. What is going on with the sparkle? Oh, oh, I didn't want to, I didn't want to do that. Okay. <laughs> yes, let's return to the hideout. That's it. Okay, so that's kind of cute. You can relive the level uh, where you got the item. I don't know what use that would be, but... Maybe if... Oh, I get it. If you were missing a specific treasure, you could go to that level specifically, maybe? I don't know. Oh, things are getting grim all of a sudden. All right, what do we got? Oh, we got four. We got the balloon, we got the trampoline, we got the ladder and the punch. And we got a hummingbird duck. Eating the jelly beans. Oh. 
Hey! <laughs> Does he hurt? I don't think so. Oh, wow. He's He's got those short, stumpy little kid legs, and he doesn't have any ups. <laughs> Okay, so we're getting some interesting puzzle elements. If the uh, the birds are able to eat my jelly beans, then that's going to cause some issues. Didn't see those spikes. What? Ah! Okay. Let's go. Ready? Okay. Oh, I can't get up there. Ready? Oh. Huh. Interesting. Maybe I maybe I can put a trampoline down there. Well, wow. it doesn't matter now. Oh. Get them all aggro. Oh! And I fall into the spikes. <laughs> oh. I guess we're gonna find out if I got infinite lives or not. I can't, I can't throw a jelly bean down because that bird will take a, take it away. I'll be too close to him, so I have to make my own steps. Oh boy. Hey! Putting a lot of faith in that wind. How are we doing? Okay, we are just missing that one treasure. I have to uh, punch a hole here. Get it? Punch. Punch flavor. Hole. Haha. Uh hey! -huh. This is going to take some time. All right. Starting to get a little, uh, uh, I can see how the uh, later levels could uh, have some complexity to it.
nothing you know super super detailed but yeah with the adding the little things like the birds that will take your jelly beans away what 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 It's exciting. Every time that something comes in, it's like, what am I going to get? It's so random. What the hell did I get? Did I get the whole thing? I got all three pieces, right? It looks like it, it looks like a, an animal uh, carving or something that's missing its missing a body. No, I got all the pieces. Weird. All right, what do we got? Oh, coconut. That turns him into a bowling ball. Trampoline, ladder. Spikes down there, okay. Wow. Come here. Hurry. Okay, all right, all right. Now, let's switch over to the ladder. Will that fall through? Okay, and then... Come here. Okay, Come here. now we're getting to getting into some potential for complexity. Ah, stop that, stop it, stop it. Over stop. here, hurry up, let's go this way. Don't come here and advertise your bullshit. I'm not paying for it. I'm not going to get it. And... Get rid of that crap. Oh, I can't clear it off of that. That, that sucks. Alright, well, we'll just turn it off until it goes away. Though, though, you gotta be a real low life to come onto somebody else's page advertising. That's like, go the fuck away. You know? I don't go to other people's Twitch sites and tell them what to, to come over to mine. And I'm free. I'm not even asking people to pay. Oh, wow! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Not what I expected to uh, uh, happen, but uh, it's a solution nonetheless. Whoa. 
Oh, I'm guessing that means he has a treasure. Okay. Uh, let's switch over to the... That, and... Oh, but he didn't, he didn't need it. Over here. All right, let's try this again. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I think I, I think I know what I need to do. I need to bowl him over, over but I need him to, I need to wake him up before he uh, hits the wall. Oh, okay. I think I, I think I know. Don't pop him until you're ready for him to be past the spikes. There we go. Okay. It's funny how much this game has just fo uh, taken all of my focus. And I'm not very chatty. I'm just like, I have to get all of this treasure. <laughs>
Oh, let's try this. Okay, now let's... Okay. Let's see if we can climb down that. Come here! Alright. Might be too close to that. No, no, no. Eh, it might be a little Hurry up. too close. Stop turning around! That's not the direction I told you to throw. I can't. Uh, Mom. Over here. There we go. There we go. Okay. Hey! Alright. So let's turn him into a coconut. Roll them over there, and we will throw a trampoline. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, you little bastard. There we go. Well, I thought. There we go. Hurry! Oh, oh wow, okay. Oh. <laughs> Now I just want to, I want a bag of jelly beans. I didn't get one this year. I usually get a big bag uh, for Easter, but um, it's so weird here uh, in, in Australia with the uh, Easter, yeah. with the holiday sales. Yeah. Most of the time in America, if it's like the day after the holiday, they still have like the clearance sales. Like if it's Halloween, like, um, you know, the day after Halloween, you can still get the Halloween candy that's now starting to get clearance. If you're early, you can get a bunch of stuff. Oh, okay. This was a multiple day treasure. I'm gonna pause this just for a second while I tell the story. And um, you can you can still go into the stores and they still have clearance. They don't do that here in Australia. Like, if it's Easter day and the stores are open, that is your last chance to get Easter stuff. Like, it is so hard to find clearance stuff. If it's, I don't know if they just buy the right amount and then it just sells out the like the last day. But if it's like the day after Easter, you are not going to find Easter candy, you know, just sitting around. I don't know if they just grab it as soon as the store closes on Easter day and just pack it all up and ship it back. I don't know what they do, but it is so damn hard. It's not impossible, but it is so damn hard to find like after holiday clearance stuff. It just doesn't happen. Sometimes, if you're in certain stores, you can find some stuff that was, like, left over, like if they bought a bunch of it. But it's not like like uh, when you go to the department store and they have this whole section and it's like, this is all Easter clearance or this is all Christmas clearance. Some of it's candy, some of it's decorative stuff. They don't do that. There's no more shelf that uh, shelf space that's dedicated to the holiday that was yesterday. It's over. It's done. And I don't know where the hell it all goes. I see shelves just packed with it and I and 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 it's like they're 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 either going to sell it the uh, you know up until the day of the holiday and then that's it I don't know I don't it, it baffles me I haven't been able to talk to somebody about that but yeah it, I just I'm so used to uh, okay it, the day after valentines let's go lo go load up on uh, inexpensive chocolate not here I, I mean, like I said, occasionally you'll find a deal, but most of the time, if you don't get it by the day of the holiday, you're just shit out of luck. Ooh, collapsing, collapsing platforms. All right, Blob, let's be careful. I know you're indestructible, but I am not.
Oh, oh, we're getting a lot more. We got ladders, trampolines, balloons, uh, parachutes, punch, and uh, coconut. Boy, you gotta move when it's time. Boy, you are a fast fucker. Wow! He has got some range. can I actually get on this thing? Let's go! Oh, he didn't get it because the bird ate the damn thing. Fucker! Oh, oh, he got it, he got it, he got it. Boy, those birds are annoying. trouble. Okay, so he can fit through that. Shit. Oh no! Here, you little bastard. Over here. Uh, uh. Oh, you killed me, you stupid idiot. Do it the technical way. This way. 
Is it bad that this is starting to make my brain hurt? Oh, come on! <laughs> now, if I wanted you to do that, it never would have happened. Alright, so now, switch over to the ladder. This way! Eat the jelly bean. Thank you very much. Actually. This way. I was gonna say, just eat the treasure there, buddy. Alright, now I'll trade you back over for the balloon, get you back up here. Sure we're gonna find out. Ah. This way. No idea where the oh there he is there he is. I was gonna say I had no idea where he ended up. Hopefully this jelly bean gets to him. This is where I need the ketchup jelly beans. Ready? quite do what I thought it was going to. Ah! Oh, there. There we go. Okay, that, that worked much better. Okay, well he got it. As far as I know, we don't get points for killing all of the uh, the inky inky things. So uh, let's see. Do we have? Yeah, I thought we had a parachute. Let's go ahead and pack one of those. How are we doing? Okay, we got all the treasure. We just have to escape. Easy there, easy there. A little bit of drift. No! Ah! Wow! <laughs> Had the right idea, just uh... It does not give you a lot of wiggle room. If you push over, you're going to drift. Once you're drifting down, it's, it's pretty much that direction. But... Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! 
And once you retract it, you there's like a hesitation. There's a second before you can uh, before you can uh, deploy it again. There we go. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Did we get something cool? Yeah. Hopefully we did. Yeah. Cause that one, yeah. that one we actually had to work for it a bit. Oh, more of the totem pole. I think we're just about done with this uh, area. I'm assuming that there'll be a second map. Alright, what do we got this time? We got the balloon, we got the ladder, we got the anvil. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Ah. Oh, wait a second. Let's try this. There we go. Let's go. Okay, so it's an anvil. What what do you think the flavor is? Oh, treasure up there. Ready? Because it's definitely the tangerine trampoline. I don't know. This way. All right, is this too far of a drop for me? No. My neighbor took Totoro. Oh, and he's walking on the spike pit. I get it. Ready? Right, let's get the uh, trampoline. the treasure. Alright, let's head back. Can we walk up this incline? Yes, we can. Oh, but we, it's not going to let us go back. I won't be able to get the uh, anvil yeah. because the bird will keep eating it, so we'll have to start from the beginning. I thought there was another path that I didn't go through.
but we'll get an uh, an idea what? as to what the treasure's gonna be. Probably the last of the totem pole. Yep. Alright, well we definitely want to finish it. Okay, it looks like there's one more level, but we'll go back to this one, get the last of the treasure. If, by God, if I'm going to go through this, I'm going to get them all. Because this one wasn't that difficult, I just didn't go the other direction. how it's done. I like how even the big uh, monsters are, uh, they're not menacing, they're kind of, they're kind of cute in their own right. I mean, I know it's insta-death if I, if I uh, get hit. Oh, just like that. Wow, slipped right off the anvil. Does that mean the totem pole is finished now? <laughs> That's cute. Okay, looks like we got one more level on this map. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it to it. Man, it got dark and sinister all of a sudden. Okay, what do we got? We got parachute, we got anvil, we got trampoline, we got punch, and we got the balloon. Oh, 
him up against the wall. Okay, we're missing we're missing a treasure. Alright, let's go back and see if we can find it. I didn't see any glowing enemies, but maybe it's like like up above or something. Over here. We'll just do some trampolines and see if we can get up in the air. Huh. This way. 
Am I missing a path or something? Well, let's see if this is instant death. I think that's water down there, but... Yep, it's water. part of the um, the parachute section. All right. Well, we'll just go ahead and take the uh, exit jelly bean and we'll take a closer look to the um, to the parachute section. That's the only place that makes any sense. Unless it's one of those uh, treasures you can't get until you've already finished the stage or something. I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, it's a boss. Ew, it's an inky snake. All right, what do we got? We got balloon, we got hole punch, we got trampoline, and we've got and ball. Let's start with the trampoline. Wow, damn. <laughs> All right, well, let's try. Okay, he busted his head. Oh, there we go. Hurry! Dang! They're giving a lot of time. Go. Oh, I, I think I know. We've got to throw a jelly bean on his uh, shadow, I bet. I 
I'll get there, damn it. Wow. <laughs> I'm thinking the uh, adventure has gotten a little treacherous for a boy of my age. What happens? This way. Okay, that's not it. Maybe it's the uh, anvil. Tense than I thought it was going to be. Did we get the third treasure? Or is that still something I got to go back and find? Oh, past the forest. Complete the forest world. I thought it was a cutscene. I was like, all right, let's, let, let's get going. Uh oh, moving into the city. Oh, that's cute. It looks like the, uh, the city skyline uh, from the original game. how we travel from section to section let's go back to the uh, forest level because we're we're literally one treasure away from completion what? What? Looks like maybe a bear skin rug or a wall, wall decoration. All right, let's go back to that level. We got to get that last one. I'm assuming there's probably an achievement for it.
No, I definitely didn't see it. Huh. Uh, you know what? I'm I'm gonna just just gonna look it up. Give me a second here. Um, because whatever it is, it's it's not obvious. Um. Uh, hopefully I don't have to go through too much of a uh, walkthrough for this. I gotta go old school, I gotta go to uh, Game Facts, FAQs. All right. All right, as soon as you start, use the parachute to avoid the enemy to land safely on the ground, then go right. The first chest is inside the bouncing enemy on your way ahead. Use the trampoline to get up to it, throw the red jelly bean underneath, make it fall down, jump, dun, 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 dun. push the blob anvil onto the enemy to get the chest. Ahead, you'll come across three enemies. Use the red jelly bean to make a hole and wait for them to fall in. That's a much better solution than what I had. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Continue right, jump up ahead and using the trampoline. Then the same before, push the anvil over the enemy to get to the second chest from it. Continue right, push the anvil over the rocks to clear the path. Jump down, then at the sign on the right, jump on the trampoline a few times to reach a platform up in the air with the chest on it. Call the blob, use the parachute to head down to the exit. Okay, so apparently it's near a sign, so... Yeah, uh, put, making a hole, that's a much better solution than trying to kill him. <laughs> Sometimes these games... Uh, they give you just enough room to uh, let your imagination soar, and my imagination is terrible sometimes. <laughs> Hurry! It's, uh, I always say it's one of the reasons why Minecraft is not a game for me. Um, I always say that Minecraft is a great game, um, but it's, it's, it's a better game if you have an imagination. And uh, when I was a kid, if I got a Lego set, I would, um, Hurry! if I got a Lego set, I would, I would do what the set told me to do, and very little else. <laughs> Aha! Oh, there we go. Got an achievement. Novice treasure hunter. Collect 30 treasure chests. I mean, the sign told me to use the trampoline. I should have listened to it. <laughs> oh, do I gotta fight the boss again? Yeah, all right. Hurry! 
right through. So I'm, I'm guessing that means that water is uh, damaging to them. I mean, I know I did other things to cause some damage, but... I'm wondering, is that going to be the theme along the way? <laughs> Fresh water takes care of the toxic bad guys. Somewhere out there beneath the Gotta go back to our hideout in the woods. And bleh. What? Is it a bear? Is it a bear skin hanging on the wall? It's a bear. Alright, is that everything? Looks like everything here. So we're going to move on to the city. Alright, but you know what? That seems like a pretty good stopping point. So we're going to... Let me switch that over here. We're going to call this a broadcast. I know I barely made it two hours, but um, eh. Uh, this game feels like it's one of those that uh, shouldn't be marathon, but uh, played in a short little burst. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually going to call this uh, call this broadcast for the night. So, uh, thank you for hanging out with me. I really appreciate that. Let me bring up my uh, shameless promotion. It is Monday, and uh, for the next several Mondays... Uh, for today, brand new episode of Sugar Pants Video Basement. Uh, I have three more episodes in Season 2, uh, so be sure to check those out. Uh, please watch uh, Blood Salvage. I think you'll really appreciate it. Uh, it's a fun movie. I was surprised. I had never heard of this movie before, and it's the type of movie that I actually would have loved seeing when I was a uh, teenager. Uh, by the time it came out, I was probably... Well, by the time it actually got to my area, if it was going to get released, it probably would have uh, been an early teen movie for me. And uh, I think it would have been definitely something fun to have watched as a child. But I enjoyed it as an adult, and uh, I uh, recommend it. But uh, if you're unsure about the movie, watch my review, and I'll give you the, uh, the short notes version of it. And uh, then once you're done, you can uh, make your decisions on uh, whether or not you want to check it out. I think it's worth it. I think it's a funny movie. Um, I wish it was a little more horror than horror comedy, but really that's my only complaint about it. The characters are fun, uh, the uh, situations are interesting, and uh, it, it, it doesn't reinvent the wheel, but sometimes I don't need a movie to do so. So uh, check that out, Blood Salvage, my latest uh, episode of Sugar Pants Video Basement. Uh, all of Season 1 is still available. Uh, I'm getting some interesting traffic uh, right at the moment, but uh, I can always use more. So if you uh, like it, uh, please uh, make some comments, subscribe, uh, check out some other videos, uh, pass it along to your friends. That would be some great help for me is uh, getting some new people and have them, you know, kind of do some promotion as well if you like it. Um, at some point, I'd really like this to be a project that I can monetize. I don't expect to uh, make, uh, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars a month on it or anything like that, but just something that would make it worth, you know, sitting in my office all day long, uh, writing scripts, recording, slapping grease paint on my face and everything. I mean, as you noticed, I, I, I don't really have any hair right at the moment, so I've got to grow that out before I can even record for the next one. So, <laughs> um... But uh, I, I basically do it all myself. I, uh, I write the scripts. I uh, edit everything down. I get all the uh, material for, uh, you know, whatever jokes or punchlines I'm going to be doing. Um, I uh, edit the videos. Uh, I do my own makeup. My wife helps me a little bit with my hair, but that's basically about it. Um, 
But uh, it's it's a fun project. It's a lot of work, but I, I have fun doing it. And like I said, if I, if I could turn it into something that, you know, kind of gives me a little bit of uh, money at the end of the month, that would be great. Uh, a little ad revenue here and there. Most of my movies uh, seem to get through the... Um, uh, what, what do they call that? Um, oh, I'm blanking all of a sudden. <laughs> I've been in uh, jelly bean mode for so dang long. Uh, the, uh, you know, like copyright claims and everything like that. Most of my videos seem to get through that okay. So, you know, if I can ever get to the point where uh, YouTube will let me monetize, I, I think I could definitely do some decent ad revenue and that sort of a thing. Uh, but I got to get hits. That's where that's where you guys come in. So uh, if you like what you see, uh, please watch some other videos. Get me some hits. Help me out with that algorithm and uh, all that scientific stuff that I don't fully understand. But, you know... It's the, the way of the beast, I guess it is. So uh, check it out. And if you have any comments or some videos, movies that you'd like to see me do in the future, uh, definitely uh, send those as a message in, uh, or a comment on my videos. Uh, I'm open to it. But um, in the near future, I'm hoping to uh, get a Patreon going. I got I to gotta get a fan base before I can do that sort of a thing. Uh, but uh, yeah. It's something, it's a project I'm looking to do and uh, stick around for the long haul. So there are episodes that will be coming out all this year. Right now I'm just in season two, but there's four seasons for the entire year. So six episodes per season, uh, three more episodes on the way. So right now it's Monday, so in th I've still got three more weeks of content uh, still to come out in just season two, and then six episodes for season three, six episodes for season four. So uh, that's going to do it for uh, tonight's broadcast. So until I greet you again, y'all have a great rest of the day, and we will catch you next time. Mm -hmm.